To assemble the four grain binder design motor, I have my grains ready. They're all trimmed up, ready to go. I cut the liner to 10 and a quarter inches. I found that fits pretty well. I had to do a test fit to make sure though. Uh, that's one thing you wanna do if you're using a different brand or uh, it's just a good idea to test fit the liner and make sure it fits. So first thing you wanna do is uh, insert your grains. Then make sure you have a good pair of snap ring pliers. And I don't mean something from Harbor Freight. You really need a good pair of pliers and uh, some safety goggles or some good glasses because when these snap rings come out, they come out violently. And I've seen them just shoot right across the room. Uh, that could easily damage your eye if it was to come out and hit you in the eye. So make sure you have good players and safety glasses or that your glasses are rated for uh, some sort of minor impact. I like to use this uh, Super Lube synthetic grease. It uh, really handles the heat well. I've already lubed up my O-rings on each end here, and I've put a little bit of lubricant uh, inside the motor tube where the uh, O-rings are gonna slide in. Uh, make sure you insert the nozzle the correct way. You can see a little notch here that the liner fits into, and that is the convergent side right there. So I'm going to put the uh, fuel into it. Uh, this end is where the thrust ring is, and then this will insert in here. Work that in. Keep this away from your face. Snap ring in. Double check to make sure that that is seated properly in the end. You don't want any surprises on either end. So I check this in, check the nozzle in, make sure the snap ring is seated in there properly. And that's all there is to assembling a snap ring motor.